Hello guys, uh, this is explain uh, here the best Simuro and uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys a video for the build that I made and uh, yeah, let's do this so this match was today as you can see and we're gonna watch it solo but basically um, as you guys know it based on your MMR the uh, the team that you play on can be really really bad or really really low in skills or or the draft usually give the uh, your opponent better characters than you have on your team so on your side so um, yeah that was kind of like the case that we had here we had two melees as you can see hold on what all right i think i don't did we have a healer i don't know all right as you can see we have like we had like two melees we had three me four melees guys not just two like I'm, I'm saying two because i'm like thinking about like people who really doesn't do that much dam who are not damage focused they do do damage but like they're not damage focused anyways this is the case here as usual i'm uh, afk and i'm gonna be afk for a while i don't know why but i'm like usually not here when the game starts at that time so all right so yeah i'm gonna be afk and gonna forward this basically my team was losing all right as you can see here they are playing and they are fighting and they are dying and yeah so this video is gonna be for one of the uh one of my viewers again i don't get that much views and this game is kind of dead but sometimes i do get some of those guys who challenge my content and uh it's not that bad you know it, it's probably because they don't really see the perspective of the person who's playing the belt so i i had to make this video at some point to just showcase uh, how good the bill is and how good you have to be with the bill for you to run it because it is the bill for the best uh, players and this here is a bill I play in, uh, in like diamonds master level so you have to be good and it's for it's the bill is for high level players so you might not see it but when i say it's the best build it is all right so we are sneaking in here i'm gonna slow it down because i think i'm back now but see with simuro simuro is an assassin remember that he's now a wave clearer if you want to oh all right so that death was uh was because of my ai so this was not really me this was my ai uh, trying to disconnect so that i can connect all right i have one death in this match so at least we now know what caused it anyways so here they have uh, as you can see the, the match was really one-sided they have a healer i'm your character that heals off of uh, hitting a lot of people with their skill with that spell and they also have a healer we do not have a healer for some reason we, i saw lily there but nobody picked her so uh yeah anyways they have a tank they have two range uh mages you know you guys know mages always uh, do a lot in the in arms so they have all of the advantage here 
that you can have for a team pretty much but that's that's cool because we have illusion and uh, we are an assassin and we got this under control so this after is it I think this is my like my first kill he overstepped and I just body blocked him with my uh, clones at this point we really don't have uh, illusion master yet but I am still going in and I'm positioning properly and I'm going to the back line and now we get our uh, level 10 talents this is like five minutes in and where's the build this is the exact uh hold up did i take this at level one uh yeah i think that's what i picked anyways if you watch the youtube video you'll see the exact build that's that's that that's what i'm using here anyway so we are going to back line again sneak behind snow behind the uh i'm up here <laughs> all right so guys playing sam is really complicated and it's really difficult but and that's why this video is going to be a bit uh difficult to explain because i'm going to be everywhere um and you have to have that mindset guys like to play sam you have to be you have to think in certain type of way and that's why it's, it's really difficult to execute sam in the first place correctly in the first place and then you add the fact that he got nerfed so you have to play him like you have to like squeeze every <laughs> every uh potential you can out of him so i'm gonna take you guys back and then show you what happened so basically this fight was about to start and then i went in that back line let's sneak all the way back all right the fight was about to start let's wait uh i hope i didn't escape it anyways morganis is up here my clone is down here i got illusion master now so i can like do stuff like this and then i swap onto my clone all right i was up here and now i'm down here repositioning all right so that's the tactic number one you gotta know when to reposition and in this case they thought that i was using my i was like they thought that i was a clone here right so they got they thought that it was gonna die so they left it alone and then they were leaving all right so anybody will probably just leave the clone to die but not me all right so i switched and now i'm in that back line and guess who's here that healer all right so that's who i'm focusing all right and then they have all of these people here all right so now i'm attacking the healer and pretending to be a clone and then the office kind of like he was engaging but then he has to decide now is he going to defend the healer or is he going to uh defend his team the, the rest of the team like the dps and stuff so i got my clone here attacking him and then i got two people on this uh uh healer here so he decided to come back to take care of the healer because the healer doesn't have any damage he think that his dps will do well and it kind of looks like it and so in the meantime this is one of my clone here that i'm controlling to go back all right so that i can have a chance to escape and then i go back here right attacking the uh the stukov to pretend that this is like a serious thing that i'm really going deep on him but actually i'm not really going deep on him because this is where i actually want to go and then i swap over all right my mephisto is ulting and the uh the uh kill fazar here is also ulting so i switched over i was trying to get out of the ult but i didn't i'm not gonna say that i got out of the ult but i was planning to get out of the ult once i switched and then uh the reason why 
I switched was because I've already like pulled both of them back here. Alright, so now you see me, I'm moving backwards because that's what I was planning to do in the first place. And now the entire fight is up here. These two guys are here, still cover is backing all the way out. It looks like my clone was doing a lot of uh, damage to him. Actually I did some damage and when you when you press E on your on your Sam, all of your tombs does damage. So that's something you gotta keep in mind. Alright. Um, and the build is actually built for that. It's actually meant for for that. Um, so yeah, so uh, Sonya ult throughout this match were fantastic. All right, so she ulted, and there's like no uh, rocks or whatever. Uh, so uh, it doesn't look fancy right now, but most of her ults were like really really beautiful. Chef kiss. All right, we go in there. She got a second kill, and then she got a third kill, triple kill. All right, but we were able to help this happen. All right, and when you play Sam, it's not really what you do as uh, directly to the target. It's more of what you do with Sam as you play Sam, because Sam is a is an illusion master. All right, he's not. Uh, he's not like uh, like dive in and uh, like it's he's not like like he's not like move around, dive in and then get a kill and then leave. He's not like that. He's more like move around, uh, plan your exit, and then start your your overall initiation like initiate. Uh, a uh, plan of confusion all right that's what you gotta do <laughs> in a game like playing sam is complicated right you gotta think in a specific way all right you have to you have to introduce confusion among them right and that's why he has the illusion so that you can use them those little clones you use those clones to go in they mix some things up as you could have seen here right before i even got here that's what i planned to do right I put my clone in, they use some of that skills on my clone, and then they started to ignore it, all right? So you have to do that a lot, and then when the time is right, then you go in. And with Sam, sometimes you have to go in deep, uh, in a sense that if you mess up, you might die. And you guys, this is not like the only time I did this, like going behind them. And more like three guys were here, in a sense that they could have killed me if they really wanted to. Right, um, but with Sam you have to do that, and being able to predict that is what makes you a better Sam. <coughs> All right, so we got a kill on Stukov here for some reason. I don't know how that happened. So, anyways, we got a kill on Stukov. So I swap over, get some heals. My illusions are gonna be all over the place. So. That will pause a lot. <coughs> Anyways, my illusion is right here, as you can see, right? Look what's happening, guys. My illusion is right here, and I don't even know where I am anymore. I think I swapped away, but basically, before you go in, you have to to set up your illusions, guys, right? I mean, your clones. The thing that you do is is elude, like a trick. So, as you can see there, we got in there, we got that kill. And here, my clone is chasing the afters. He think that it's me, but it's not me. And then, I snuck behind the uh, melee here. It's the wrong target, actually. But, I was trying to peel, and I took one of my clones up and then I switch and I'm out of danger I'm in danger and then I attack the minions so that they can think I'm attacking minions in my base but then I snuck behind try to get the Jaina but she saw me move so as you move uh, in stealth they can actually see you now right that was the first uh, debuff that actually made me stop listening up guys 
I used to play uh, Karazim, but I don't play Karazim anymore because of that, that first uh, nerf that it added to the uh, stealth heroes. We really ruined everything, right? Before that, like the stealth heroes, they were the best. And like when that happened, like uh, a lot of people were not even playing stealth he heroes, right? Uh, Zerat was not even, I don't know if it was, yeah, he was still, he was famous, but he was, they were, he, they were playing him with, um, with Vorpal. I wasn't playing Zerat with, with Vorpal when he came out, but that's what they were playing him with. And he got, he got popular like with the uh, arrow build, like the ultimate build, when the reset build, uh, when I actually made a video on him. And I keep, I think like after he got nerfed and stuff like that, like people just, like he got, he got so weak that people had no other options. Uh, like so they just decided to in or playing Vorpal because Vorpal itself was not really that useful uh, with Karazim anyways but that's another topic so all right here I'm going hard we got safe by the uh, ultimate there and so Samaru, Samaru has a lot of uh, self-healing uh, that was some really nice thing that it did uh, despite the uh, negatives that happened But yeah As you can see I'm using my clones uh, To track in when I know there's a body block or potential for kills here. I snuck in Got that kill and then I got out immediately, right? So with Sam when you when you get a kill you have to leave immediately Don't try to get way too many hits in then it's needed right going get kills leave <coughs> i want to clean this side so that i can sneak behind later and then i put my clone in he thought it was just a fair hit but then i actually swapped to it so it went from being a joke and then it wasn't a joke anymore all right so when you're playing sam like make it think that it's a joke and then when they uh they stop attacking it then you go in oh our tank took a lot of damage and then he died illusion got slaughtered there by the uh quera i snuck my illusion behind i was gonna actually swap to that but it didn't live anyways illusion master is a lot so i'm doing a lot of things here i'm up here and then I swapped down when I saw the potential for uh, slashing. And uh, now, right, I'm gonna start doing more trick, like random tricks, so that I can confuse them, right? I have my illusion going in, I have myself going in, switching to my illusions and stuff. And sometimes I go in and take like, like unnatural, like unusual damage, and I do like some random things that make me <clears throat> that make me come off like a noob and like things that they won't really expect me to do I do it so that I can uh, confuse them pretty much all right so you can see here my uh, illusion is mounting up and I'm up here hitting minion running away and then my illusion uh, kill Fazar is almost trying to kill my illusion here and then I have one of my illusion attacking and then running away. Guys, I'm like all over the map. I'm here, I'm down here again, and then I'm away, all right? I'm over here. So that's how you have to play Sam, guys. If you can't do this, then you are not a good Sam, and then the build is not gonna look good to you because you don't know how to play in the first place. All right? So I saw an opportunity. I went in, got my kill. Guess what I did? I ran away. So another opportunity, went in, help, get an assist, and then I left. All right, so this here is uh, is Sam in like close quarter, right? Um, this is not like a like a huge map where if you mess up, you can like run away or you can be like far away or whatever. This is actually the hardest play to actually play sam like i'm i'm yet to see anybody who can play sam in arm like this um 
but then again I'm the best Sam in this entire game so yeah let's uh let's keep watching to see how this goes they have 19 we have 20 in SP so we have uh, an advantage here sneaky behind there get Fazard doing a lot of damage here Alright, our tank is taking so much damage. Alright, so your illusion. Alright, look at my build, guys. He got. He's getting speed, attack speed. I don't think the attack speed um, works to um, FS me. It's only when I actually attack that I get attack speed. But this is good. The attack speed in the build that I already showed, like I don't know, a year ago or whatever, is okay. As right, so you can see me here, I'm sneaky right pretending that that's me but it's actually not and then i chase when i get too far i make a way to exit and then i exit all right that's me again i dodged that uh attack there from the uh Quera, and then i cleanse with my switch there um and that's a really nice thing about Sam. He can cleanse himself from stuff like Nazebo attack and whatnot. And you gotta know how to sidestep, right? Um, if you guys watch uh, streamers that play regularly, you'll see that they, know they really like to sidestep and that's a good thing. Anyways, we executing this again. My actual, I don't know. I talked about attack speed earlier, but I think it's only when I attack that's when my uh, my clones get their attack speed. There. Hey man, guys, I'm not gonna talk about the build, guys. I'm just gonna talk about gameplay right now because you guys already have the build. I don't have to explain much. I'm sneaking in the back here. My illusion is taking that damage tanking for me, and I snuck in. My illusion almost got a kill, but the uh, Stukov was gonna heal him back to like full hit point anyway, so uh, there was no need to like sacrifice myself for that. <coughs> Anyways, I have a full hit point here. The Jaina is uh, trying to see where I'm at. My illusion is like being annoying to her. And then I'm in the back here, actually killing that kill Fazar. And you guys probably don't see the chat right now. Oh man, I can't even show you guys the chat, but the chat is going wild. Um, man, where's the, how do you show it? Uh, yep, there you go. All right, the chat is, go, the chat is going wild, guys. Just what you're gonna see. All right, so the Sonya um, ultimates are really nice. Um, obviously nobody can follow this because it's well, this one here was not that nice because she just YOLO. But trust me, most of our ultimates have been nice so far. Alright, so these guys decided to tower dive. I snuck in behind them. And I'm making my clone here. Sticking on the uh, on the healer. And then their team is lo uh, almost losing. Usually when you attack the healer, the team will, will usually lose because they don't have heals. But... We got slaughtered because we don't have healer. So I was able to get the kill on the uh, on the on the healer there. And it was kill Fazar is gonna be my target for the most part because he does a lot of damage and he's stationary for the most time. I mean, a lot of the time. So yeah, I make an illusion. Uh, look at that, guys. Look at that ultimate. Decent ultimate, right? He starts spinning. Um, we we'll go on the Jaina because the Jaina is, is OP, obviously. Um, I usually focus like the most dangerous target, which uh, usually the DPSs and the healers. Um, doing fights because that kind of distracts them and stuff like that. So these are my illusions, uh, doing stuff pretending to be me, killing minions and whatnot. And that's me in there. Now they don't really know if it's me or if it's my illusion. And sometimes like I have to like pause to actually rethink to like clear my mind because when you're playing Sam it's just so many things, right? That's me, I just switch in. 
I, was, I almost got a kill on the uh, Quora there, but she just did that funny stuff. And now I'm stuck in here trying to get that kill on the uh, healer there. She walked away, she got saved, but the healer died. And my, my character is mounting up, <laughs> pretending to run away and hide. Alright guys, it's the mentality guys, you have to be good at trickery, alright. So where am I? I'm all the way back here, attacking the Jaina. And then, my clone was up here, alright. <laughs> guys, this is a lie. Uh, you are the best Simuro. This is what I'm, I'm trying to tell these people. Alright, I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Alright, alright, I think he overdid it there, but um, let me show you guys what happened here. So there are a lot of chances where they could have killed me, but they just couldn't because I just I just played the, the character so well. Alright, so we are here. We got some people dying here. My illusion is here. And before it died, I actually swap onto it. And it seems like when you swap, your all of your illusions uh, get full hit point for some reason. I'm not sure how that happened, but this guy looked like he was dying. And then he got full hit point when I swapped. Uh, maybe that's a new change. Alright. Um, anyways, after that, I got in here and I got these skills. But I, wanna sh I wanted to show you guys what happened over here. Anyways, we got these, the crit. Alright. Sneaking around. And the reason why I'm good at Simura is because all of my entire life, right, I've been I've been playing as an assassin. All of like everything I do is like playing stealth hero. If you watch all of my videos and it in a video you find that you see me playing for a long time in it, it's probably gonna be an assassin. That's all I do. Alright, and you can see over there one of my uh, clone was going towards that hip, uh, health box over there. And that's why I swapped to it. Now why? That's that's the one I swapped to. And now why? I actually planned it. So. Uh, Alright, we are healing up. And that's one thing I really appreciate about the Sam, the new Sam. Like he heals up like crazy. Like you don't even have to back with this uh, when you play Sam. All right, so we have little Sam here. I'm gonna call them little Sams uh, because they are the little ones. All right, so as little Slam Sams are sneaky in the back line here, trying to pretend that they are running away with their allies, but they are not. And then. Little, little Sam sneaks in the background and I'm in the background here and little Sam is going away I'm going away I swap because right here like there were too many of them coming to me they were gonna body block me and I wasn't gonna and I won't have been able to like actually got uh, get to my character so I decided to swap early so it might see like a seem like a premature uh, swipe, but there was a reason behind it. If I stay here for any longer, they were just gonna block me. Like three guys or two guys were coming down here, they were gonna block me. All right, little Sam's are in the background here doing little Sam stuff, and my main character, my main character actually just dodged the. Uh, ice storm or whatever that was here again like you have to be able to control two characters three characters and stuff like that at the same time um people who play lost vikings are gonna find it easy to play sam uh people who play uh i think avatar kind of like teach, uh, helps you as well because you can like swap and stuff and you have to be very attentive and whatnot so Anyways, I snuck behind the Jaina here, doing damage. She's uh, deep ton she's tunneling onto the, uh, onto our Mephisto there. But I'm actually tunneling onto her. When I was being targeted, I decided to make a clone. 
the Jenna is now in danger. She don't know where to go, forward or backwards. So I'm like creeping on her, right? Like a vulture. I'm creeping on my meal. And then once the, an action starts here, Stukov has two options to do stuff with. <clears throat> the Jenna pop up for ultimate. I got off of her. My clone is going. She thinks that's me. And then when it was almost there, I swapped to it and I got away. Um, and then here again, the uh, the build that I have is allowing me to do a lot of stuff really well. I'm able to swap as often as possible. Maybe it's actually a help from the new uh, patch for Sam or something like that, but it's all right how it is, right? All right, so here people are giving up, but then again, this is hot. You don't really give up. And uh, I waited for the, uh, the uh, casting to be done. I swap to cleanse and to save myself. My illusion is in the background here. People are thinking that's me. Look at that ultimate again from the Sonya, but it's really difficult. And here I am, guys. I'm not doing much. There's really not much I can do here than to try to move behind targets and stuff and like pick the weak ones. Once the tank died, I knew nobody was gonna slow me down, so I snuck in and got that uh, kill on the uh, healer there. And then I dodged the uh, ability from the Quera there and then went for my ex uh, hit point. The globe. Sneaking in the back line again cleansing myself once uh, being targeted like this by the uh, Kyofaza or the uh, Quera. Here again, sneaking in the background. There's no healer yet, no tank to slow me down. And now he pull up his stuff, he wanna use it. And then I sneak away. My illusion is gonna get killed here. And here they could have just gotten out of keep, but because of the way we executed Sam getting in there getting those kills they are not able to stay here for too long and then they back out so the match goes on and on and on and uh, yeah guys we are doing our best and awesome souls alright guess what's happening here guys so there's a fight going on uh, there's an ult. The ult is done by the uh, by the Stukov there. The tank is all the way up front. It looks like Quera is going. Jaina here is being uh, confused by my uh, clones. Now this clone is in the back here just in case I have to escape. But this one is here just as I explained earlier. You have to introduce confusion before you go in. Otherwise you're going to get killed. And now I'm going in, and Jaina is preoccupied here. Uh, she's being babysitted by the uh, little uh, baby uh, Sam here. And I go in the background. I got attack speed with that build, and I'm able to move around really fast and stall until my uh, clone rope reposition is repositioned, and I can go to it again. I spawn new clone and it pretends to be me i go in for the kill there get an assist instead a uh Morganis is overstepping but that's okay we got a clone in here when uh, the uh jena was backing out i decided to swap to the clone but it was actually a bad decision because we are on the tower at the time anyways everybody's super low apart from me though because once i go stealth i start healing like crazy with this new uh new uh patch so yeah my clones are going in there to just tank some damage and just like i just do some random stuff sometimes like just to just throw them off all right you have to always throw them off so the more you do it, it the difficult it becomes throughout the match you have to do it even if you don't want to you have to do it because that's how you play ch you play Sam, guys. You have to troll, all right? And trolling is, is something that you have to be careful with. And I learned this from playing MMOs, guys. 
you learn trolling from playing MMOs. Alright, so we snuck in there to help get that kill on the Jaina. My clones are moving around, pretending to be me, pretending to run away. And they are attacking. Alright. My team got wiped again. This is an extremely difficult match for us because the uh, draft is completely off. They got slows, they got roots, they got uh, stuns, and everything. And I'm here again. Alright, why am I not up here or anything like that? If I'm down here, as you can see my screen, I get maximum view of the entire uh, area. Alright, so that's why I'm usually down here like this, right? So when you're playing Sam, you always want to be able to find a way to get full view of everybody else while in the hiding all right that's something that you gotta know all right so i got caught up in the uh, ultimate here but i'm in the background attacking throwing them off and stalling waiting for my chance to pounce onto something snug behind look at that ultimate guys look at that ultimate from the uh sonya there i'm not really worried about those guys because the sonya is going to take care of them what i'm worried about is the uh are the mages and i cleanse myself from that slow from the cold air from the jaina and we were to sneak back to her she was already there anyways and yeah entire team got wiped so it looks like things are getting promising here for us so i'm just trying to open up new angles and stuff where i can like really invade and uh cause more trouble all right so my team's pushing forward and in my in my main video where i explain like how to win uh how to win arms right the most important thing is to kill minions people a lot of people forget about it and just fight 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 but that's not how you win you have to kill those minions and then get sp um anyways we sneak in here get some kills i got a little bit greedy but then i got saved for the second time here by the ultimate uh so thanks to the stukov and my illusions are still here i'm i'm always spawning illusions guys always spawning illusions and some characters might be able to like stack on your on your illusion those are the characters that um sam is bad against um if you notice somebody is like playing a character that infinitely infinitely stack like a uh, uh vala vala is just broken for some reason i don't know why she doesn't look like the type of character that she'll be broken but the death went out of their way to make her broken anyways so it's just is how it is so anybody who play Vala is kind of like a like a wuss. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, uh, my clones are going around. Attacking stuff here. I'm sneaking around here. My illusions. I'm moving in the background like they are trying to clear a wave or something like that. I don't know what they are trying to do, bro. Uh, but anyways, I'm on the other hand trying to kill this Stukov. Once he pushed me back, I got another means of entrance. I got in there, uh, went through both of my characters to like confuse them. I'm still coming from the back here. And once they kind of like gave up on that, I went in and then I got the kill on the Stukov. Jaina could not get healed, so she got killed. I move around, right around the Arctis, where he can't really slow me when he uses his ability. And I got a second kill there on the uh, kill for Zard. And the Arctis just walked away because he's Arctis, obviously. So we are we are turning this around, guys. And I'm not gonna show you guys how many kills or something like that because I want you guys to like watch the entire video especially that guy that got on my uh, channel i want him to watch this video to the end and uh i hope he subscribe because uh he owes he owes me something all right 
he's a swiper and now he's being swiped on all right so uh after this chase me here um be aware of your counters when you play samuro you are not invincible and your death can be a slow or slow death so be careful all right and i say slow because like samuros usually go in and they just start attacking basic attack and because it takes forever for people to die you just slowly attack them and then it turns out that you are the actual person who's gonna get killed and then you die that's why it's a slow death anyways i'm sidestepping here right to play melee characters you have to know how to sidestep that's very very important as i explained earlier and i sidestep stuff that will slow me down we we'll got in there get a kill and when i want to steal kills i usually spawn a lot of my uh, clones that way there are like three people hitting <laughs> so if i don't get a kill one of my clones will and uh it, it is right it is why it's they help me and then i help them all right we got sneaking in here uh hitting these structures in these structures nice nice boom boom pow sneaking around hitting these structures and oof i got shoved away from the kill for Zarya, but he's gonna die with my uh third attack being a crit all right that was no fluke that was actually a third attack uh getting that kill there and it's really annoying because he almost got inside but he did not and to f to close up that distance i uh, actually had to spawn my clones and that's how we got that kill jay not try to kill me here but then i saw step and you guys did not see it but it was a decent side step and uh guess who's mvp with like 23 kills right uh this is this is zero death because my death was actually caused by an ai so that's like 23 and 0 all right we get five likes here and then we're gonna add your uh your apologies uh comment and a subscription uh to my channel to actually finish it off all right thank you bye bye